to na today for nap time, Mia's reading Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin and illustrated by be. Daniel Salamari. So you see here? Okay. So let's see if we open it up like this. I think everybody can see and you. Right? Let's see if we turn a little bit. There you go. Okay. See all the tacos? See all the tacos? Okay. okay. So it says here, dragons love tacos, and they had lifted up a plate, and there's a taco inside of it. Do you see? That I see taco. And there's the taco cave. Dun 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 dun. Okay. So it says, hey kid. That Mia and that Gabby. Yeah, it looks like Mia and Scrappy. Did you know that dragons love tacos? Say me say Gabby. That's right. Well, they love beef tacos and chicken tacos, and they love really big, gigantic tacos and teeny bitty little tiny tacos too, right, Minya? Can you go like that? Little bitty little tiny tacos too. Itty bitty little tiny tacos. Mm. <laughs> Why do dragons love tacos, Mia? Is it because of the, mm, the smell of the cooking on the pot on the pan, or is it the crunch of the crispy tortillas, <laughs> or maybe it's a secret? Shh. Can you go like that? Why? Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey, dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? Well, we love tacos so much because they're delicious and it's a secret. But wait! As much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. And they hate spicy chunky salsa and smooth spicy. If it's spicy at all, they hate it. Yep. Because it, why, Mia? Because it makes smoke come out of their ears. And just one little bit of spicy pepper makes a dragon sneeze fire sparks out of his nose. And oh, they get tummy aches. So if you want to make tacos for a dragon, you keep the, the toppings mild, right, Mia? Okay. Tomato, check. Lettuce, check. Cheese, check. Look at the dragon. Hey, dragon, how do you feel about spicy toppings? And he rolled over on his belly and he's going, Oh, I don't feel good. My tummy hurts. He stuck his tongue out too. You see that? And he's holding his belly with his little hands. The dragons have little bitty hands. Maybe dragons love parties. They love costume parties and pool parties. And... They like big, gigantic parties and parties that are little with their friends and just like playing games and stuff because they're comfortable and good friends have fun laughter. So the only thing that dragons love more than parties or taco parties is, or I mean parties or tacos, is a taco party. Taco parties are where you yeah. have lots of tacos. If you want to have dragons over for a taco party, you're going to need bucket loads of tacos. And you're going to need a boat and fill it with tacos. And you're going to need pant loads of tacos. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> After all, all dragons love tacos. Hey, dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? What does he say, Mia? Yes. He's so excited. Tell him. I'm so I'm so excited. Good job. Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. So before the dragons come to your house, you got to go in your backyard and dig a hole and put all the spicy salsa in there and bury it up so they don't see it. Okay? Let's see. These dragons love your taco party, Mia. They love your music and the decorations. Congratulations, Mia, you did a good job. You are wonderful. 
you put taco balloons and you put lots of tacos everywhere here 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 what is that what is that what is that Betty. oh my gosh it's Wait, those little green things. We didn't read the small letters. It says now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Oh my goodness. Are jalapeno peppers spicy, Mia? Yes, they're very spicy. Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. They have little green specks in them and they're super spicy. Oh my goodness. Look, dragons, I know you love tacos, but you're not going to love these tacos. Mia, tell them no. No, you can't eat those tacos. Stop, dragon. Take the taco. Take the taco. Take the taco. Don't let them eat the tacos. Mia, help them. Oh, my goodness. It's too late. Ah! Do you see? They're eating them. Crunch. 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 Whoa, I'm so scared. Where is, where is Mia and Scrappy hiding in the page, Mia? See all the tacos? They're on fire. There they are. They're hiding under the table and the tablecloth. Well, all the dragons are breathing fire out of their mouth. And look, even the jar of spicy salsa caught on fire. And tacos are on fire. Everything is on fire. It's too late. I can no. whole house burnt down. Oh my goodness. He's still breathing fire, that guy. Yes. And look, what is this guy holding? A taco on fire. And look, that dragon's putting his hand on the little boy's shoulder and he's saying, it's okay, little boy. While the little boy has his hands on his head like this. Oh my God. Can you go like that? Very good. Very good. And this one, he's like, oh no. And then this one, she has a little bow to her. She must be a girl dragon. What does this one have in his nose? Fire. Fire coming out of his nose. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me hold it. Okay. It keeps falling. It keeps falling. I'll hold it for you. So, why would the dragons come and help the little boy rebuild his house? Why do you think they came and rebuilt his house, Mia? More. More tacos? <laughs> yeah, maybe they're good people, like good Samaritans. Good Samaritans means they're good people liking to help people. How do you, can you say Samaritan? Samaritan. Very good. Or maybe they feel bad because they're the ones who burnt it down. But you know what, Mia? I think you're right. I think it's because they want the tacos. <laughs> oh my goodness, these dragons. After all, dragons love tacos. The little boy's throwing the tacos. And dragons catch them in his mouth. <laughs> That's such a cute story. Dragons love tacos. Mm. Look, Mia, we never saw the back of the book. You mm. see the dragons? If you want to make friends with dragons, what would you do? No. Spicy tacos. That's right. Just give them tacos, not spicy tacos. Okay, Mia. I love you. I hope you enjoyed your story time and I hope you have a good night.